A fully functioning 3D printed handgun was unveiled earlier this week by the Texas based company Defense Distributed, who manufactured this fully functioning firearm on a 3D printer, which is sort of like a molecular assembler out of Star Trek that uses plastics and polymers to create three dimensional objects. And the company unveiled a video demonstrating their liberator 3d printed handgun which was made entirely of a polymer except for the small metal firing pin and then to comply with the undetectable firearms act they did insert uh, I think it was a six ounce piece of metal so that it could be detected by metal detectors because there are laws in place that you cannot uh, create or carry undetectable firearms. Of course, unless you're a member of the CIA who needs to go and assassinate people and sneak through metal detectors, but that's a whole other story. Uh, the, the government has absolutely flipped out. And um, a few months ago, they, oh, where is it? A few months ago, they created just the lower of an AR-15, a 3D printed lower, which is the only part on an AR-15 that you need to buy and register. I have a background check for you. You can buy all the other parts for an AR-15, but the lower has the serial number on it and is the one part that you need to have a background check for. And so they just printed one. And then earlier this week, they printed their uh, Liberator 3D printed handgun. And then the government flipped out, um, ordering them to pull the blueprints, which they gave away for free on their website, which over 100,000 people downloaded, according to the interview that they gave with Forbes magazine. And the State Department cited some obscure rule or regulation about uh, international arms control. So these people aren't even allowed to give away information, a First Amendment right, a freedom of speech, to communicate, because the First Amendment covers written speech, verbal speech, symbolic speech, gestures, signs, uniforms, burning the American flag. But you can't, according to the friendly federal family, the government, they, they, you can't uh, use your First Amendment right to share information about... Uh, the blueprints for a 3D printer. Now, this the printer that printed this handgun was an $8,000 3D printer. So, not exactly something that most people are going to have in their homes. 3D printers are becoming more and more popular. Uh, some people still have not heard of them or aren't aware of what they are capable of doing. But, like I said, it's essentially kind of like a Star Trek molecular assembler. Only it, it doesn't use... You just can't create any molecule or assemble any uh, any kind of um, physical device. It uses a plastic or a polymer and it melts it or it uses a chemical reaction and it assembles three-dimensional objects. And this is a really interesting week for 3D printers because Staples, the office supply retailer, just signed a deal to start stocking the 3D printer in their stores. The first national chain in America to uh, stock a 3D printer. Before, you'd have to buy them online. Uh, you could get them on Amazon or direct from the manufacturers or very uh, obscure retailers. But Staples, the huge office supply retail chain, has announced earlier, just a few days ago, that they will be stocking a 3D printer I think this one retails for about thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, twelve twelve ninety nine. Where you can see it here in action, it sort of just manufactures you know three dimensional objects. Now, what's really interesting about these three D printers, aside from oh a few, a few other notes about the three D printed gun, by the way, a um, hundred thousand people have downloaded the the plans, and they are on the mega website, whatever Mega Upload's latest site is, I'm not sure if it's back up and running or if he has a, a backup uh, site functioning. And Pirate Bay, you know, Mega Upload from Kim.com Kim out of New Zealand. 
They have the plans, and Pirate Bay has the plans. Um, so if, <laughs> if you want to get your 3D printing uh, handgun, uh, hint, hint, you might know where to go. This is really a fascinating story because, like I said, the only thing that was detectable on a metal detector is the firing pin, and then they had to put a piece of metal in there to comply with the uh, Undetectable Firearms Act. But 3D printing is going to be probably pretty huge, not just for people printing guns so that they don't have to register them, uh, to have a background check so the, the government will know who has the guns when they go to come and do the final gun roundup. Let's come knock on your door. Excuse me, sir. Oh, we see that you have a shotgun. We see that you have a 9mm. Oh, yes, let's, we'll take those guns, please, or you're going to go into a FEMA camp. Um, some people uh, believe and are working towards using 3D printers to create all kinds of crazy things from medicine to stem cells and artificial human tissue. So it looks like these 3D printers could ultimately be a molecular assembler like in Star Trek where it just creates objects. You know, you just put it, put in a bunch of a uh, bunch of tubes of different uh, different molecules and things and then it'll just assemble them together and just create different compounds and different uh, you know, products and who knows what, stem cells. I mean, th this might ultimately lead to the nanobot robotic takeover where the 3D printers can just assemble little tiny nanobots on a molecular level, just cellular level or an atomic level, just piece by piece by piece. Um, so it's going to get pretty interesting. But if you didn't know, people, 3D printers are just you know becoming more and more popular but a lot of people still don't know about them still don't see the uses for them they've been used for decades i actually saw one like 15 17 years ago when i was looking around for colleges to go to there was a college that had one in the engineering department and they used it to create uh prototypes and it was fascinating to see this huge device but now Moore's law has uh, shrunk the shrunk the price, shrunk the technology, increased the uh, in information capacity, and now we have these 3D printers in on Staples.com, and they're coming to the stores soon. So, if you haven't heard, the 3D printing company, based out of Texas, Defense Distributed, has gotten a nasty letter from the State Department ordering them to pull the blueprints from their website, uh, really violating the First Amendment. You know, it's just information. They're not selling the guns. They would need a firearms license for that. And then it um, gets really complicated. But now you know a company has printed a 3D handgun, and like I said months ago, printed a lower third for an AR-15. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Stay tuned for the new Man on the Street Mondays. They're going to get really wild. Just keep pushing the envelope. Not sure how far it will go. It ended me in, in handcuffs. Landed me in handcuffs last week uh, with two police encounters, three squad cars, and me on the ground in handcuffs. And it was a lot of fun. I wouldn't have traded it for anything. But, uh... I'm just going to continue to push the envelope. Stay tuned. If you don't like these screenshot videos or if you're already familiar with some of these videos, just stay tuned on Mondays. You're going to get a up-close and personal look at the average American or maybe average Southern Californian. Anyway, I'm Mark Dice. Until next time, stay tuned. More videos coming soon.